What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video today. It is time for the Week 9 Tournament, the Pacific Championship at Bandon Dunes Golf Resort. Ryan Gamer just came off a disappointing final round at the Players' Championship, was in good position to come back and win the tournament. His home tournament at TPC Sawgrass unfortunately struggled in the final round under tough conditions, just could not find a putt. So, Jerry and Ryan have worked all week getting ready for this tournament, studying caddy books, practicing reading greens, practicing putting to hopefully get back on track on a really tough golf course in Bandon Dunes. So, I need all of your all's one times, all of the encouragements as we start round number one of the Pacific Championship. Let's do this, everybody. I'm fired up. I love this career mode series. Thank you all so much for all the support on it. If you all get some enjoyment out of this video, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check the full playlist in the description if you're looking for other episodes in this series. The conditions are going to be 6 to 9 miles per hour wind, average fairway and green firmness, and short rough. This actually could be very favorable. This could act in Ryan's favor here at Ben and Dunes, but... It is time. Let's check the leaderboard though before we move on in. The leader right now, Kevin, minus seven, minus seven. Tommy Fleetwood up there as well. So my goal, five under or better. I think that's a realistic goal. Let's go ahead and dive on in. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. From the rugged Pacific coast of Oregon, it's opening round coverage of the Pacific Championship. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer will begin seven shots off the pace. It is time. I was expecting a bigger intro. I didn't really give Brian an intro at all. Usually, you know, they talk about past events or, or something like that. But here we go. 304 yards to that front fairway. I think we actually attack. Last week, I think we held back a little bit in round number one. And we're not going to do that this week. I'm going to absolutely sin this golf ball. Have to leave everything in the past last week. Ryan this and Jerry worked really off the clock to get the swing back or get get the putting back. It's got to play our game. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's that's a pretty good start. <laughs> Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot! We are not holding anything back. Eagle chance to start the first. Oh, here of the Pacific Championship, ball sitting below the feet. It is a steady left to right. I'm telling you all, the best change I made was to go full true Selm on this career. I don't know about you all, but ever since going full true Selm, it's been exciting every moment. The battle, the fight, playing without the grids, it's it's awesome. I think that's, for me, my favorite way to play this video game. It's going to break a lot. It's up the hill slightly. Going to aim at about 43 and send this one. Maybe 44. Another thing Ryan really focused on this week was short game. The short game was bad at the Players' Championship. Oh. oh, wonderful effort right there. That was tracking much of the way. And it'll leave a short one for birdie. What a putt. Hey, can't complain. But wow, imagine if that drops. That should be a tap in birdie. Slight right to left. But wow, what a... What a putt. Okay, a well played hole. It's a good there. start. Birdie to kick off the round. And that is hopefully a harbinger for the week ahead. As hey, cheers, everybody, for that birdie. Get your coffee. Whatever you're drinking. Let's go. Always the hardest hole for me at Bandon Dunes. 223 back pin location here. Plenty of green to work with. It gonna go to the finesse four iron. Jerry kept this club in the bag after last week. Uphill quite a bit. We're just gonna attack this. Oh, 
I thought I played enough. Hit it short enough on the green. Wow. That's average firmness, too. That four iron hit up that slope and, and went. That one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Gonna go with the pitch. A shot that Ryan has loved recently. It's really been the only short game shot he's been able to hit. One time. So close. What a golf shot. Ball is above the feet. So look at this break. There's a lot of break in this short putt. I mean, it's it's not going to matter because we're so close, but still, like... That finished off for par. You were the second. I will take and a par there any day. Figures at we, one under. Karadek is having another great tournament. Had a great tournament last weekend at the Players. And Sunjay Ilm, what about the meltdown on the 18th, everybody? Sunjay Ilm had a chance to win. Our playing partner at the Players' Championship was up. Well, technically would have won by one stroke. Ends up triple bo or double bogeying or triple bogeying in the last hole. <laughs> Fell apart. I mean, Ryan can't say anything. You all remember the 17th? <laughs> Hopefully you all threw that out of your memory. Yeah, I tried Just to do that. At this point in the round, you're trying to find Perfect a bounce. rhythm. Hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. You know, honestly, with how unlucky we were at the Players' Championship, you all remember? That's the most unluckiest tournament I've ever had, especially that final round. Nothing went Ryan's way. It's nice to get a lucky bounce. 206 yards away into a headwind. Going to go finesse shot. Full loft. And we're going to send this. Could be the one. Maybe too much. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, this career mode has been such a blast. Had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. We have another eagle chance here. Ball is sitting below the feet. Steady left to right. It's going to come back. No, I don't know about you all, but I really like the four-round tournaments each. Week. I didn't think I w I thought I would do one or two if they change if they added that feature, but they never they still haven't added that. I still want that ability in the game, but for this YouTube series, I feel like I'm really enjoying the four-round here for the EA one. As for the PGA 2K series, we have it set up to one round and then two rounds for the major events and four rounds usually for the FedEx Cup Finals, the Tour Championship. In the playoffs but i kind of like this so far we'll see when we get there if we change it let's make this a little bit left to right a little bit left to right was an understatement Did you all see that ball yeah, shoot that's good putt that was a slippery one but that's well done shouldn't be much in this for birdie yeah it's straight in Birdie. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. I'm trying to stay focused this round. I'm trying to not to let the nerves get the better of me, which is what happened at the Players' Championship, I think. And it's a combination of unlucky bounces, unlucky shots, the poor lip outs that we had. Like, everything went against us on that round. But trying to stay focused and really focus on playing some good golf here. I'm actually going to hit a fade into this. Always have to watch my thumb through the motion on this shot. Got better. I'm not afraid to hit him anymore. Uh oh, that's not going as intended. Maybe I should be. <laughs> hey, what was that, Ryan? Right? to see here. It looked <laughs> like that, that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. You're not afraid? Oh, good. Good, good. Wait, we could hit. I don't. I think we could have hit it over that tree. Now that I look back. 122 downhill with this wind 88 97 percent lie gonna go full loft gonna come off to the right the wind's gonna blow it back though bounce down that hill 
beautiful. Like that, that's perfection. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance. Did Frank just say that's not too bad? One of the best shot Ryan has hit in his career. Oh, it's, that's not that bad. I mean, it's true. It's not that bad, but come on, Frank. Give me more than that. Pretty level putt. Ball is above the feet, though, so it's going to be a little bit right to left. I'm going to go a cup and a half or so outside. We can still putt. Oh, good run Get in there. Early. This is birdies at three and four. Ryan's back. Cheers, everybody. Are you kidding me? That's how you play. So, hey, you all remember the mistake the caddy Jerry made before the Players' Championship. Do you all remember what Jerry did? Jerry knew that it was Ryan Gamer's home course, where he was born and raised, his most played course, right? So Jerry didn't give him any caddy books before round number one. Made the caddy books late. And unfortunately, it was already too late. And I, I think he forgot to hand Ryan the right caddy books in the final round. <laughs> So, you know, Jerry had just gotten a raise as a caddy. Uh, it's under review on whether that's going to that's gonna change. So this tournament is going to determine that. Send it. <laughs> so, yeah, Jerry's on thin ice right now after that last tournament. Oh, and that one nosedives right okay. into the thick stuff. That could be problematic to say the least. So, oh. Caddy book uh, sometimes can be tough to read. <laughs> well, uh, Jerry, what did you put on? Speaking of Jerry, what did you put on that caddy book that time? I think we've got to go approach shot. I don't even know. Is this going to hit that bush? We just got to get this out of here, honestly. That's just perfect. Wow. Wow. That's why Ryan That's is one of the best shot. players on too, the PGA Tour. The regulation, so birdie chance. He was we born in the rough. Nota Begay the third for That's what he does. At birdie. All right, Nota. What yeah, do we players got? Players of this caliber should make this on a regular basis pretty flat with just a slight movement to the left. Yeah, slight movement to the left. You notice how Nota gave us a compliment. Players of this caliber. Thank you for that, Nota. Send this in. Steady right to left. He said slight left, right to left. That that was more than slight. And also, it's so slow, that, that green. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll stay at minus three. Three under here. We're in 22nd place, diving up the leaderboard. We are only four strokes off the lead. A hole that is always challenging for me. The long par three. Beautiful golf hole, though. Gonna be going f probably four iron full off. We saw how much that four iron rolled earlier on a very similar shot on the par three. We're about to find out if it's gonna happen the same. That's perfect tempo. Just goes like. And that one not that's on full long as not well. A terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. That's the thing about the finesse shot. With uh, finesse shot, you don't get a lot of backspin, right? And it's, it hits lower than just hitting a drive shot. Probably shouldn't. And spinner shot. Jerry told Ryan this week, just just hit the sp spinner shot very very sparingly. We've been f on fire on the pitch shot, so let's keep it up. But Jerry was not impressed by Ryan's spinner shot last week. That was a beautiful shot. Feet. Level, uphill, it looks dead straight to me. Yes! Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth. And Come on. Remain right where he is we were playing some great golf you may hear if you hear a tinging in the mic that's my dog kelsey so she i've said this before she's a big dog she's 80 pounds and she'll roll over and smack the desk and you may hear like a ting or rattle 
That's what happens. You may see the webcam shake. No, I don't think the webcam shakes, but she does just hit the desk pretty hard. Yeah, I think we just go right here on this one. Oh, he's pulled it. Yeah, shot to the left of the shot dispersion zone, but with the way we're playing from the rough. And that one coming in too hot, it kicks off the fairway and right into the heavy stuff. 74 yards, back left pin location, uphill significantly, probably over 15 feet here. Gonna do full loft, lob wedge, send. That lie didn't affect the ball whatsoever. Well, that is not very good at all. That could cost him. Rich. Yeah. Hindsight's 2020. 20. You just wish you took the shorter club now. You know, I'm going to make this to show them. I tell you, I'm loving the pitch shot recently. Loving it. No matter what mode I'm playing in this game, I've been hitting the pitch shot so much. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay off the lead. Right where he is. We got some work to do here in round number one. We're playing way better than we did in round number one of the players. We just have to stay focused. Try, I'm trying to stay focused, so you all might notice that with... Be the one. Please get in the fairway. Yes. You with the right win, you can full send that ball to the green. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is gonna be a tee shot that is set up just fine. The Keep big drive got him here. Now a short one for his second. This is when we do pull out the spinner shot. 40 yards away, uphill slightly, full lofted 61 degree spinner. That's the range for Brian's automatic. And that's all set up by the big tee shot. You put yourself in that good of a position in the fairway just short of the green, and good things are bound to happen. To be three off the lead. That was a beautiful golf shot. Come on. Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie at number eight. Another birdie. Let's go. Got to keep gaming. 556 yard par five. I think we send this ball on a power drive. I actually do. You don't see me do this too often. For good reasons. <laughs> and that was flirting with disaster the whole way and it's gonna wind up hopping into the bunker. You know, by the end of Ryan Gamer's career, this bunker is probably gonna be named after Ryan how much he's going to find it. We've just got to get this ball up and over. Or not. That eight iron didn't fly over that lip. That's what we get for doing power drive there. Misread the caddy book a little bit as well on that one. I think the reaction tells the story so, there. Jerry. Not a good shot at all. 227. Got to go four iron approach full loft. Approach shot, we're going to get a little more backspin down this slope. We do have a wider dispersion zone, so it's going to be interesting what's going to happen here. It's got to hit soft. Beautiful. See a finesse shot? Hits and rolls off the back of the green with the four iron. Five iron, six iron, mm, even seven. And how about that for a nice approach from way out? That one finds the green with a birdie putt on tap. Hey, we do have a birdie putt. Ball is sitting above the feet. Looks like right to left at the beginning. And at the end, it kind of seems to flatten out a bit. I do think most of the breaks at the beginning slide downhill. We go about a foot outside and send it. Yeah, did you all see that much yeah, spray on it? Defensive I did not. Yes, that'll come up short. That thing broke a tremendous amount. And it looked pretty flat, honestly. I thought so anyways. Okay, good putt there for his par here at the ninth. And he's going to go out in 32, four under par. 
14th place four under starting the back making our turn sitting in 14th place nine holes to play let's dominate this back nine now this is the golf hole where i do hit a power drive and send it I believe we got the ride of the dispersion one zone, though. Four! Right. Kick it in the fairway! Mm, that might have been okay if it stayed in that thinner rough, but I think this popped into that yeah, deeper uh, area. Jerry, uh, you know, give him a signed glove. Give him a signed hat. Give him a signed full gear. You know, Ryan hasn't hit a fan since the U.S. Open, I believe. In his amateur, when he hit 15 fans in one tournament, he's tried to forget, he's tried to move on since then. But, well, fans thought they were safe. They're not. 39 yards. Gonna go pitch full loft. Get aggressive here. That's just gorgeous. The fan took one for the team. Apparently Thank you for that finding fan. The thick stuff off the tee was not an issue. That's really well played. All is below the feet. Looks like steady left to right. Just like left edge. Hit it pretty firm. Yes. Yes. Rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. You can't ask and for a better start. Within two of the lead. Five under through 10. Five under par. You all might want to get a refill on your coffee or drink. Whatever you got today. If you're getting extra healthy. Maybe you're drinking some water. I probably should. Hey, that just... Yeah, we drink plenty of water. Cheers. Oh, he's overcooked it. That is well left. Was that, that a... Is gonna was be that tough bush? That One of those concrete bushes? Stuff. Hey, Jerry, talk to him. Jerry was... He's got a clear was... path to the green, but this... <laughs> definitely not where you want to be for your second so you all missed it jerry got into an argument with the rules of fisher about that concrete bush was like hey that ball hit it. it's like a rock it's gonna hurt ryan like come on give us a free relief long long story short long conversation jerry almost got thrown out of the event but got the free relief and here we are what a caddy 146 158 to the hole 46 to the front Gonna do nine iron full loft. Just beautiful. Hey, hats off to Jerry. You know, I you know really Jerry's un that seriously. That ball wasn't even gonna land on Jerry's the contract is up under up. review after the Chance players' championship, but. Birdie. He's earning, well, he's starting he's to earn it back. conversion on putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Well, I mean, to be fair, Jerry has, Jerry does multiple rows and has really took Ryan's baseball game and MLB The Show 23 to the next level. If y'all do not watch that career mode series, same athlete here, Ryan Gamer, across all the sports. It's been epic. Jerry's been working him hard, though, as his trainer. We go 2.5 above Get aggressive send it yes yeah that's good pot a birdie here at one. Oh my goodness he moves to within a shot of the lead at six under now we're back with the tournament we are back cheers look what happens when you prepare for a tournament <laughs> jerry Two hundred thirty-seven middle pin location. We are playing some insane golf. This is what we needed right here. Some confidence after last week. Full, full loft. I told you all we were gonna be full send mode. Wow, I love this video game. Too much, maybe? Not bad. Had to hit drive because you get more backspin versus the finesse there. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. Ball is above the feet. It's going to be right to left at the beginning. It looks to me like it moves back the other way. Might be straight in. I'm going to go outside right edge, though.
Oh, so it yeah, only came back for a brief that, period and then down, went back. Still pretty good from there. Still a good read. You can't overlook these putts with grids off. It, like, you, you gotta make sure you look at every single one. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. Especially at six under par. If you're playing Evian Golf Resort, that course is insane putting wise, even with the grids on, with the with the beads on there. But when you turn them off, that course is insane. You all missed it. I posted a full true film round there. And the the day before this video. Get on out there and watch if you haven't, because you want to see how tough some courses can be on True Sim. Well, that's one of the toughest in this game. Just put this in the fairway, Ryan. Come on. This one's starting a little bit right. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Absolutely blasted that one. Let's go 214 downhill. You six iron? I think so. Full off the six iron. We could have an, another eagle, another eagle chance. We haven't technically had an eagle yet. The finesse shot's going to row too much. Got to go with the approach shot. Just beautiful. See, if the finesse shot hits there, traveling low, it's off the back of the green. All the way there and got it to With stop. the six iron, it Only might have stuck, actually. Five. Six, seven, and above, definitely, sometimes, will definitely, especially eight, nine, all the wedges. Ball is above the feet. Steady right to left. It's, it's flat at the beginning, but then it goes sharp uphill. Probably uphill about eight inches, maybe. We'll see. Aiming a couple feet outside. Get in. Mm, the speed was right what you want, but the eagle putt doesn't go down. Eagle two. The speed was right. Can't complain. Never going to complain about a tap in birdie. Let's go. Just like that. It's a birdie here at 13. We're tied for the lead here. Let's go. Best first round we've had in a long time. We've been struggling recently. Bay Hill, the Players Championship round one was not good. But you better believe we are full sending this ball. Get lucky, dispersion zone. Come on, get lucky. Oh, by if you make getting lucky mm, by going in the sand, well, we got lucky. Right. No question, it helped push that ball into the bunker. It's crazy as this seems. I'm going finesse. Spin it back. Do Come no on. wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. Ryan Gamer, everybody. Hole number 14. Get in there. We'll never forget that one. Are you kidding me? Absolute perfection. Bunker, finesse shot, full backspin, hits, catches back right into the hole. Cheers for that one, everybody. Are you kidding me? Let's get fired up. We're winning this tournament. You can't stop us today. I was mad after the Players' Championship. Came back firing out of all cylinders. <laughs> wow, I love this game. Come on. 213 yards. Let's go. Gotta go probably drive shot for spin. Looking at seven iron drive.
settle down the heart rate before the next shot, right? <laughs> I, I played that way too. So the, the wind was a crosswind, right? It sighed, but it also was in my face. Okay. And I didn't realize Safely that aboard. it was too late, which is now this for another birdie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, does anybody got any ideas? Technically, we could pitch this, but... I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the putt. The question is, how much is it uphill? That's the question. And I'm going to go, like, a little over a foot. So aim at, like, 90. 90-something, 90 93. I don't know. No, this looks well, way more uphill than that. I mean, it's going to be left to right most of the way. Once, if we make this or even get this remotely close, part of Ryan's career. Getting the speed right is going to be almost impossible, though. That's a beautiful yeah, effort. You see so many of these long putts like that come up short. It's just hard mentally to hit the ball much firmer. That is a beautiful effort. I mean, really. Ball is above the feet. Slight right to left. Not much movement here. What yeah, a putt. Good putt. That's in for par here at 15. You and talk the about the turnaround. Too. Last week, we couldn't buy a putt. And then this week, we come out. Dominating, but to be fair, at, at the Players' Championship final round. How many lip, bad lip outs did Ryan have? Really all week last week, but also, he also hit some of the best putts ever. You all remember that long downhill putt he barely missed? Which would have shifted the tournament completely? He, he was so close, but tough game. Going for the... No, this is one you don't go for. I, I remember this hole. Yeah, definitely not. There's just really no point. A lot of times you roll off over top. Off the back of the fairway. I think that's a smart shot. Jerry's going to be proud. So after the big drive, this... A short approach to the par four. It's a tough approach. Gonna go with the spinner, full loft. It's a really tough golf shot. The dispersion zone is wide too, so it could go anywhere. Just gorgeous. This is the Chance tournament we needed. Another birdie. Like, this is the first round we needed after after having some struggles. We have not put a round together like this in a couple weeks, and everything is working. This is some of the best display of golf I have ever played in this game. Let's go. Ah, uh, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. You all may want to get a refill. He pushes that lead <laughs> Fresh to three coffee? Shots I'm almost out, two too. to go. 10 under on the round. Exceptional display of golf. Be the one place. Dangerous shot to go for it, but Ryan's filling it. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one... Well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. And this is the same Ryan from last so week. Great tee shot no change in, in skills. Now his second from relatively same golf bag. Range. It's the same Ryan. Just fired up Ryan. Gonna gonna actually pitch shot this. Can't see with the the grass there. Needed to take off more. And that'll do just fine. This is a shade better than 50% on the make percentage. It's for birdie. Steady right to left. Ball is above the feet. I don't think it's breaking very much at all. 
Also locked in on the greens this week, which makes a big difference. Like, we are locked yeah, in. Yeah, that's good pot. A birdie here at one. We'll see this back nine. This is what we wanted. This is what I needed for confidence. Like, this is insane. I'm interested to see what the other pros, how they play. I don't need a power drive. Don't fall in the trap of using the power drive very often. It really doesn't give you a big boost and it's very inaccurate. Well, that's a Lynx bounce right there. If there's a fairway <laughs> bunker that, that most people miss, not Ryan finds able to them. Hang on. It's into the bunker. Again, we're just going to have to... Yeah, we're honestly going to have to just... Approach this 8-iron full off. This might not even get over. Just got to hope. Did okay. What else are you going to do, you know? We almost got that there, though. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par 5. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. One now, time. A fairly straightforward third shot. One time right here. Get your one times ready. That was the line. You just got to hit it. Minus 5% power. The underswing. Now this for another birdie. To finish 12 under in an epic round of golf. Are you kidding me? Ball is sitting above the feet. Looks pretty flat to me. If anything, it looks like it comes back the opposite way. I don't know, from that way it does look right to left the whole way, but not much. One time. Yes! You betcha. 12 at under. 16, 17, and 18 to wrap things up. Exceptional. So Herb round one for our featured golfer. Rarely do you see this kind of separation at the top after one round frank what an incredible round are you kidding me 12 under a four stroke lead going into the week not the weekend going into the friday round i mean look at that back eight under par in the back casual eight under four under on the front Wow, that's a 60 on the scorecard. My best score ever here on Band and Dudes on these settings. Actually, I think that might be my best score on these settings in general. Because TPC Scottsdale, if you all remember, we weren't without green grids. So this is maybe in the final round we were. But this is our best score on full true sim settings. Round of applause to Ryan Gamer and Jerry. Hey, I think I think Jerry's safe. What do you all think? I think Jerry's contract will be renewed with even maybe another raise. <laughs> Jerry is one great caddy. Four-stroke lead. Ryan Gamer, Andrew, Scott, Siwoo Kilm, Kevin, Karadek had another good tournament. Tommy and Selm had another good round. Been playing great golf recently here in the series. But wow. That is how you play. That's just incredible. I don't even know what to say besides let's go. Thank you all for watching this video to the end and for all the one times. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. There's plenty of content to tune into here on the Game Reveal YouTube channel. You can check the full playlist in the description if you're looking for more episodes in this series and the rest of this tournament. Ride Gamer is a multi-sport athlete on the channel. Same athlete across all the sports. Five ongoing career modes going on at the same time right now. So check out those as well. I have a lot of them linked in the description for you all. But I will see you in round number two. We are going to win this tournament. Let's go. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.